done. They're off. A little awkward there was lure him in, but did break with some early speed. And Drake's passages up there with the leaders as well. And here comes next. Next towards the outside is just going to stalk Drake's passage. Comfortable margin between the two as lure him in is now back to fifth. Is passed to the outside by Di Vernon and also right there is Mass Parade. That's the leading five. Just off of them is Spencer's boy Luna. And the Triller will be Croupy. It's going to be Drake's Passage and Manny Franco to take him to that first turn. 24 seconds flat in the opening quarter mile. Next is Engage. Right to the outside here in second. Lure him in is tightly at the rail still in third. In between horses is John Velasquez with Di Vernon is in the fourth position. It's a shared fourth now is moving forward. Kendra Carmouche and Mass Parade as they all hold their positions as they get set to work to the back stretch. The two still at the back. Spencer's boy Luna with the trailer. Croupy. 49 and 1 for the half mile time. Drake's Passage still does it easily, is up by three quarters of a length. The heavy favorite next continues to just stalk this pace setter, is watching this pace setter and within a half length now of the lead. Mass Parade starts to move forward, center of the racetrack, and back to fifth. There's Di Vernon with Lure Him in, still tightly at the rail, and there's the first move. Croupy starts to move in closer. Croupy is within six of the lead. The trailer, Spencer's Boy Luna, 114 flat for three quarters of a mile. They start to pick up the tempo up front with less than a half mile to go in the Brooklyn. The leader is Drake's Passage, who takes it right to next, who's just waiting for the cue towards the outside. All alone now in third is Mass Parade. As Di Vernon is all in and trying to make up some ground, Kruppi continues this rally from the back, and Kruppi is the one who catches the eye so far. Dropping back was Lure Him in. Next is ready to challenge and take the lead. Kruppi continues to build momentum from the back end of the field. Mass Parade and Drake's Passage still there is between these four. Next now kicks away and does it so easily. Next is trying to sprint away from the rest of the field. Drake's passage is alone in second. Kruppi continues to run on, but inside the final furlong. Look at Next do his thing. Inside the final 16th now, it's the Brooklyn. And all you can say is Next. Next wins it. Then comes Kruppi. Drake's passage. Then a photo between... Time for trouble. And they're off in the Suburban. It was a very clean start. Time for trouble in the center. And a quick good skate. Good skate up to battle for the lead. Ben Duke showing that natural early speed. Kutcher on the rail is up to take the lead, however. So it's Kutcher in front. Good skate now second down at the rail. Signator is the gray. They're followed by Ben Duke, who will be off the pace today. He's fourth and four lengths off front running Kutcher. That group followed by Mask Parade, racing on the inside of Time for Trouble, and it's another two back to Kruppi. The opening quarter went in 23 and 3 fifth seconds, and so it's Kutcher who will set the tempo, leading it by just about a length, with Good Skate in pursuit second. Down on the inside, it's Signator third, and Ben Duke just outside of him in the fourth spot, three and a half lengths off the pace as they make their way onto the backstretch. Mass Parade is next, Time for Trouble and Kruppi. 47 and four for the half mile. It's Flavian Pratt and Kucher a length and a half in front of Good Skate in second. At the rails, Signator right next to Ben Duke. Ben Duke pokes his head right into third. Then Mass Parade, time for trouble, five lengths off the lead. And Kruppi has gotten a little bit closer, but is still at the back of the field. Less than a half mile to travel, One eleven and four. And there goes Ben Duke. Ben Duke with new tactics off the pace, presses the issue now with Kucher. Those two are on even terms, head to head around the far turn. And Kruppi is unwinding from the back of the field. He's now three lengths behind the front runner, Ben Duke, in between horses, Mask Parade, and the Black Silks is also in the mix. It's a wide open suburban. Kucher is not given up yet. Comes back for more on the inside of Ben Duke. Kruppi in the center of the racetrack. Finding room is Signator between rivals. Ben Duke dives over to the rail with a wall of horses in pursuit. Kruppi on the outside, Mask Parade. Kucher has given way. Late time for trouble. Wild finish. Ben Duke. Kruppi from last to first to win the Suburban under a Rad Ortiz Jr. Photo between Ben Dug and Mass Parade. And they're off in the eighth running of the Pegasus World Cup. It was a beautiful beginning. Several riding for the early lead, including National Treasure. Down at the inside, Horse the Gold tries to go with him, and these two flat fly. Gatleon was intent on getting over on Skippy Longstocking. He had to use some speed to do it, but he's third now. Trademark comes away fourth for Fernando 
Dela Cruz, followed by First Mission, then Il Miraculo. A gap of two and a half to Grand Aspen, who's racing ahead of the team of Nimitz Class and O'Connor. O'Connor's dropped under the 10 lengths off this big time early battle. It's a gap of two and a half to Dynamic One, then Senor Buscador. He has to love life. He's racing 11th, but he's a beneficiary of a big time pace battle, and the trailer is Krupe. They whistled a quarter, 23 and 1, as they head down the backstretch. Hoist the gold has won the tussle early with National Treasure, and he's five furlongs from home and two on top. National Treasure is now second. Up in the center, it's Il Miraculo. Down at the inside goes Trademark. Working between them is First Mission. Underway from mid-flight, O'Connor's drawing closer in the orange colors. He's two better than Graham Aspen. Propping back is Skippy Longstocking. Going by him is now moving up between horses, Senor Buscador. He's at a lot of pace ahead of him, and he's picking off horses one by one as they have less than three furlongs to go. Hoist the gold has the lead. National Treasure takes another crack at him at the 5 16 They're still three better than O'Connor. Senor Buscador continues to run home. 